Good morning, Johnny. How you doing? Good morning, Coach. How you doing? I'm okay. I apologize for having you on this early. I, I know you got a lot on your mind trying to win every game that you can. Um, so I, the apologies are already to you. So I, I won't keep you long. We won't keep you long, Barry and I. Talk a little bit about your basketball team. Uh, y'all up, you know, you're up and down. Everybody's up and down. I mean, ain't, you know, good. And it's just where the league, I think the league is more balanced. Talk a little bit about your team. I tell you, really like our team, and and I don't really view us as up and down. I think we've uh, played a pretty good schedule. We played yep. uh, the, a lot of it at the beginning of the season uh, without two of our primary starters, uh, and Craig Victor, a guy uh, that transferred in, has done a tremendous job for us and playing in the uh, in the post area for us. And Keith Hornsby, who started every game, was one of our top leading scores a year ago. I was injured at the beginning of the year. We dropped some games, but since those guys have been back, we've been very competitive and uh, played in some uh, tough games, and uh, we've had setbacks in conference on the road at Florida, who uh, had done a great job and is playing really well right now and, and uh, at Texas A&M. And, uh, so we're, like other teams, uh, you know, obviously trying to be the best that we can be as we continue to grow uh, as a young team, but uh, we certainly – uh, just got to make sure that we remain focused and not uh, get caught up thinking that uh, we're a cycle team and, and, and up and down, but uh, we're making some positive strides. Well, we had an enjoyable talk about Ben Simmons, you and I, between you and I the other day. and He's uh, he's an unusual. Uh, I know you were you played with a lot of good players. You were a very good player, and, and you've been around a lot of good players. This guy is uh, a very special player, isn't he? He's certainly unique, and uh, I can just say that he's the uh, best all-around player that I've had an opportunity to be associated with. Six nine and a half, six ten, two hundred and forty pounds that can get up and down the floor. Excellent uh, ball handler, passer, uh, really good, strong IQ. Uh, for the game and uh, can defend on the perimeter. I think one through five from uh, on the perimeter and certainly in the uh, post as well. So he bring a lot of uh, uniqueness to the game uh, for us. Exciting uh, to coach, uh, fun to watch play, and he's really impact the game for us. And uh, I can just tell you, I'm glad that you know people here having an opportunity to get a chance to watch him and. Uh, the other night we played at Texas A&M, and they had the largest crowd in the history of the building. And uh, I think we're going to be able to uh, accomplish that same feat on uh, Saturday afternoon. I think it may be maybe one of the largest crowds to ever watch a game in there. And I, I so. do know that they're supposed to have a parade and all that other stuff in <laughs> conjunction with the National Football Trophy, but we won't tell people that when we tell them no. about the people that were in there. <laughs> well, Johnny, I think you're right. It's it's kind of <laughs> like the the Ben Simmons show. People uh, want to see him play. Uh, they also want to look at that trophy, that football trophy. We won't talk about that. They, they like that trophy over here, Johnny, now. <laughs> they better. I tell you, they've done a great job in representing the uh, conference and and, uh, you know, what a, uh, what, what a great uh, tradition now that they have there. I think he says it's the 16th uh, national championship. And, That's what he uh, says. I don't think it is. They're but, saying 16. Some will say 12. But whatever it is, it's a lot of them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bunch of them. And we, we do know that it's one. And they'll have an opportunity to celebrate that. And they're doing that. And, and we saw them uh, win that in, in, in great fashion. So, uh uh, it's exciting, and uh, I know that that's going to have a lot of festivities going on on Saturday, and uh, we're excited to have an opportunity to be a part of that. Johnny, I want to ask you, I know you're a great player at LSU. You you worked there with Dale Brown. Uh, you know, I think I thought the players in the 80s, were, to me, seemed to be a little bit different than the players now. I Personally, not, not Ben Simmons put him to the side, but the guys in the 80s just seemed to play for the love of the game. They seemed to be a little bit, a bit tougher. Do you notice a difference in this in this uh, year's athlete than what they were back in the 80s? Well, I just want to tell you, the more years passed, the better I was. So, uh, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and, and there's not a whole lot of uh, tape and film video out there to discount it. So, But, Don, uh, I think uh, you, you had more of senior-dominated teams. You had guys that were going to school and weren't looking to transfer. You had guys that were going to be in the program. And uh, it, it wasn't as prevalent as guys taking off and, and, and going to the league. So you had great teams. You had warriors. You had guys that 
that uh, had an edge about him and uh, a lot of things that I think that have come in and been somewhat of a distraction for the young men that are playing the game now and uh, sometimes they lose sight of what they're playing for and uh, it's uh, you know they always say the best potential of me is we and I'm not sure if everyone uh, feel that way and uh, you know a lot of times unfortunately these guys get distracted and for many reasons and uh, that hurt teams and then like you said the passion and maybe not be there uh, for them like it needs to be because they are looking for the instant gratification, the microwave where they can come in that first year and should be starters and playing. And when they don't, uh, they create problems, animosity, and guys are transferring out. And uh, it if you don't have a good, strong, solid foundation program, some senior leadership that can bring guys in and tell them how things should be, uh, you have some uh, programs that are somewhat disoriented. Uh, what about this Alabama basketball team? I, uh, I'm not going to try to answer the question that I ask you, but they have not been as efficient inside as they would like to be. Uh, maybe a little bit better flow offensively than they had last year. I, um, just kind of comment about this team. I really like the team. I think you can look at some of the games that they've had and uh, – Certainly, they they hadn't won them all, but I think they've been very competitive and in, in, in close uh, in some some very tough ball games in some unique places. And uh, is the uh, what the Notre Dame game and in, in, in other games they've had, they knocked off the only uh, undefeated team in, in our league the other night in in, in South Carolina, who's played uh, really well uh, uh, throughout the year. So. Uh, uh, new coach, uh, players getting used to system. Uh, I like them. I think they do a great job of sharing the basketball, running the offense, uh, keeping the floor space. They play with a great deal of energy. Uh, in, in, in their post, guys adequate defending inside and finishing when the opportunity presents itself. So they're going to present challenges, and I think they're going to win a lot of games in our conference. And uh, really excited about the job that Avery Johnson is doing there. We're talking with Johnny Jones, obviously the head basketball coach at LSU. You know, Johnny, LSU-Alabama, is a, it's a big rivalry. Uh, I don't know if people across the country know, but I know people in in the state of Louisiana and in Alabama know. Uh, I want to go back to your days when Dale Brown was there coaching against Wimp Sanderson. Can you tell me some things that he maybe said behind closed doors about this crazy <laughs> man that we're talking to right now? Oh, all the time. No, <laughs> just I think Coach Brown had a great deal of respect uh, for Coach and uh, I think vice versa as well. I think they were – just like you were talking about, they were very competitive. You talk about the players in, 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 in today's game, they were very competitive. The coaches in the league were. They were warriors. They had a great deal of respect for each other, uh, both at the end of the day, because both were really putting together really good, solid teams. And it was extremely hard to win on somebody else's floor uh, night in and night out. And uh, I think that uh, was the battles. And I was fortunate enough to have an opportunity to sit alongside Coach Brown as well. Uh, in, in, in knowing the battles that we had there against uh, Alabama when Coach Sanderson was there. And he's, uh, he did a great job. Had some terrific players. And to get the group of guys that he had, one, to come to school there, didn't have them playing at the level that he did uh, each year. And his team's always played well toward the end of the year uh, as well uh, as throughout. And uh, I think uh, always uh, winning the conference tournament. Uh, at the end of the year and, and, and put those things together. And that means that guys will continue to peak and play hard uh, throughout. So always had a great deal of respect for Coach, as I do now. And and uh, he had a lot of offsprings and guys to go off and coach and do a tremendous job as well. Uh, I want to be sure that you tell uh, Coach Brown, tell Dale, I said, hey, uh, he sends me an email about every week, uh, every day maybe, but uh, we've been friends for a long time. If you're only yeah. getting them once a week, you're in good shape. You need to let, hey, you need to tell him, Johnny, that dad don't even know how to turn on the computer, so he probably ain't getting that email. Yeah, he's sending me a lot of stuff I'm supposed to be studying, and I'm not a real good studier, as you probably <laughs> Don't know, but I'm not. We would always, we would always, we would always shake hands at the end of a game, and regardless of what happened, I would be mad. Whether we won or lost, I'd be mad, and he would, be, he would be okay, and he would, he'd always tell some story, add to it that I did. But anyway, I know you're 
<laughs> yeah, he, he loved to add to all that stuff. But anyway, Barry may have something for. We need to let you go because you got a lot you know, on your I'm mind. In good shape. No, I knew. I think Avery t- probably told you to get us distracted and keep us on for a while. So I'm fine. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Yeah, like he that. actually uh, had him change the gymnastics meet to the night so you guys couldn't shoot in there. So. I just feel I felt bad after I told Barry this week. I said, you know, I kind of feel bad about. It. Doing that, asking Johnny to do that. I, did, I called him really just to visit with him, and, and I thought, whew, I might get him on the radio show. And he said, yes. Yeah. So I, I, uh, he was bragging, Johnny. That he oh, got you. Bragging. He was bragging. Because, he got you. So, you no, know how much I care about him and love him <laughs> to death, and how much I appreciate him. I, I was afraid they was about to call me and ask me to come speak at, speak at one of those breakfast deals. Oh, 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 that, oh, that, that was oh, going to be a little tough to do that with yeah. the 1 o'clock game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the, one more question about Ben yeah. Simmons. Uh, yeah. You know, a kid like that, uh, you know, obviously could have gone on the NBA. Can't because of the rules. Do you like the rule uh, to have a guy uh, have to go to college one year? I wish they would have to go three or go straight to the pros. I just want to get your take when you get to coach a kid like this. I think it's unique to have a guy like Ben, who's a, who's a team guy that that comes in and he's not going to disrupt to have your team dysfunctional. Uh, because of the mindset that he has. I think if you got guys in there that comes in with the mere fact on their mind that this is what they want to do regardless of what's going on with the team and they're just trying to do their own thing, I think I don't think that's healthy, and I think that's a uh, coach's choice. And If they can go straight from high school, I think they should be able to. I think if they can spend a year or two like uh, Ben is here, I think he's done great uh, in terms of helping – our brand that we have here at LSU, I think it's special. It's created a buzz in our crowd. We've had unbelievable crowds here uh, at our home games as well. It uh, helped in terms of our recruiting. Uh, but at the same time, I had we had Shaquille here, and, and uh, he left after his junior year. My only fear is when you get guys in, you don't let them go after their freshman year if, if they have an opportunity. Uh, if a guy gets hurt, uh, in, yeah. in, uh, or injured or something uh, by that sophomore year, and, and then he can't go on to play uh, professionally. I remember a kid at West Kentucky uh, after his freshman year had a chance to go because he was going to be in the top five guys taken, chose to come back to school, developed a foot infection, never played another day of uh a basketball, and I just fear that for young men, and certainly don't want to stand in the way of that. So uh, I'm on the side of uh, you know I think if guys are Kobe Bryant good and and and, and uh, LeBron James, they should be able to maybe take off and not maybe have to grace the doors at college uh, and, and have to play basketball. They certainly can pay and and go to school and, and get a get a degree. Uh, but don't want to stand in the way of them having an opportunity to provide for themselves and, and their families and taking a chance of getting hurt in college. Yep. Dan, anything else? No, I don't. I appreciate so much, Johnny. I'll try to holler at you at the game and wish you all the luck in the world and appreciate you, you taking time. I know it's a I understand. And, uh, no, kind of Coach, bad, anytime, but, anytime you need me, I'm here for you. And if you don't right. mind, stop by Avery's practice today, and I'll see you in the morning. You can all give right. me whatever scouting report you have. I'll we'll be glad out. to. All right, thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Johnny. Thanks, guys. Have Take a safe care. trip.